right, so this number one featherweight contender is no stranger to this setting. Tonight, though, he believes he's just a much better version of himself and finally has the goods and the chops to actually be a world champion. Sometimes you get there, John, and you're just not ready. It's not easy to become the best in the world. The first time this man got here, he was a great fighter. He was good, but he just wasn't ready to be the best in the world. He said that the moment he got back home, he went to work to improve it. He feels like all the improvements were made. And tonight, he's the best featherweight the UFC has. And it does seem as though we have taken two-way action on this fight, but a lot of people believe in the challenger. And I'm not just talking about his coaches. We'll see how it goes tonight. Well, the UFC's featherweight division is a hard one to hold down consistently, but this man has done it. He's the undisputed champion, and his latest title defense comes here tonight. He seems to be getting better. You, you think that when a guy becomes the champion, he may rest on his laurels. He may start to take a look at his work and smile. Right. Not this guy. This guy is doing more now. He seems more motivated to continue to build on the legacy that he's already created. He's a great champion, and tonight he intends to keep that belt. And he's never sitting on a lead, he's never playing with his food, he's always focused, and now the champion has his sights set on this very worthy challenger here tonight. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. And now our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Bodonovsky. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed US. One of the best in the business, Herb Dean, is our referee Ready. tonight. Ready. Well, it has been amazing to watch Alexander Volkanovsky's progression, even when you look back to past title defenses against the likes of the Korean Zombie, almost smiling, as if to say, man, I thought you were good, I didn't know you were that good. And in theory, Volkanovsky ready to present an even better version here tonight. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. What a great fight so far. These guys are laying it all out on the line. Oh, landing some big shots, too. Get right here. Some more output, at least in the early going. Strike lands cleanly there. Looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. 
Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Does a great job of mixing up the strikes. Lands another leg kick. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Back and forth we go. And back to his feet. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. starting to slow down a little bit. It looks like he is. Starting to really hurt him. There it is again. Look at that. Whiffs on that offer. He's in trouble. What a fight. All right, they separate now. We'll see who can get off in space. Topuria is bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. And these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh! He's hooking him bad, man. That's why right. Hook is nasty. Well, I don't think his corner is going to step in here, but maybe the referee will take a close look. I mean, that eye is disgusting. His eye is done. He's been beat up. He got cut early in the fight, and he's just been targeted in that area. He has not made any, any changes to his defense, so he's continuing down this path. The doctor's going to take a look. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. 15 seconds. Oh, useful left hand. to the corner now, Volkanovski's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit, but he's not gonna do that, but I would not be surprised if the ringside physician did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just gonna get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous They fight. both came with an idea that they were collecting 50,000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both to see that chance. While this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie, I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. 
straight punch there again. Been there all night. Oh, nice. Oh, well, you know how tough he is, but I'm not sure how many more strikes to the calf he can realistically take. Well, he's got that poker face going. The only time you use your poker face is when you gotta hide something. What he's hiding right now is how damaging these calf kicks have become. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now some separation. Oh, good lead right by Holmes. It won't take many of those. And that was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown. And it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Lukanovsky's cut on his cheek is nasty. Leaky, leaky, that thing is leaking bad now. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, another strike lands from the top. He's working, he's standing up, he's working. This is where he wants to be. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Oh, Volkanovski's back in full match. He's trying to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Topuria. Get your hands back, move your hips. <laughs> Two minutes to go round two. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. He does a great job of getting to his position, landing effective strikes, and now his opponent's starting to slow. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Well, you know I don't. All right, he's got the hooks in DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other to see. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. He's setting up a beautiful submission. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Neon belly, big strikes landing here. Topuria getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Mm, that was nice. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. He cannot be straight on his... Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Ten minutes in the books. Heading back to the corner now. Volkanovski's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside physician be called on here. He might even stop the fight, we'll see. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's gonna find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? 
Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh. He's hurt bad. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, Volkanovski's an absolute mess. I wonder if they might call in the ringside position and potentially stop this fight. Straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Good punch. That left hook is free. Hurt him again. All right, big story line starting to develop here. That cut really starting to get wide open as this guy continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut, and it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes on. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Topuria. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. Right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Just over three minutes to go in round three. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss Jay. And when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. He has done such a great job of targeting that cut that now he has his opponent in a critical situation. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempts to get past his guard. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, shades of the godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Cole is somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Good, solid strike on the ground. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Well, 
Kowalski's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so DC, I know your corner never had to get involved and stop a fight, but these fighters are both so damaged that at this point, I don't think that would be a bad call. No, and sometimes you let your fighter fight another day. They're both extremely tough, so they won't quit, but sometimes you gotta save them from themselves. And these are the type of fights that build careers, but also shorten careers as we look back at some of the damaging strikes in that round. Well, when you fight somebody in this fashion, you leave a bit of yourself inside the octagon. Both of these men have landed and both have found success, but every single shot that lands shows that it's gonna take a lot of fights off of their career. And put simpler, they're beating the hell out of each other tonight. The fans win, but you gotta think in terms of the damage, it is only gonna get worse from here. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting a big shot on the Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Ilya Topuria. Once he got him cut, he recognized where he needs to be throwing these shots. And once again, he lands right on that cut. He's got to be careful here. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. to that swollen area. He's in a lot of trouble now. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there, and that will do it! Alexander the Great. Oh, my goodness. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 13 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Bononowski. All right, we're becoming a little bit of a broken record with this guy, Alexander Volkanovsky by TKO. Another dominating performance here in the featherweight division. I mean, because Johnny shows up, he fights, he wins. It's always rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. He has all the skills in the world, man. And every time he steps in there, they're on full display.